Let's see how you and viewers can use annotations in Zoom. Being in a Zoom meeting, go to the bottom menu and click on the share screen icon here. A new window is opened where you can choose what you want to share. In my example, I select my desktop or screen. But you can select a whiteboard, a website, or whatever you want to share. After doing that, click on the share button here. Now you can see there's a rectangle outline on the screen which indicates that you are sharing your screen. On the top menu, click on the annotate icon here. Also click on the more icon here to make sure you enable annotations for others or disable annotations for others depending on what you want. In the viewer's screen, there will be a pencil icon letting them know they can start using annotations too. Now in the new menu below, let's focus on these three options to start making annotations. Text, draw, and stamp. Click on the text icon and start typing your text. Keep in mind that your annotations don't affect the actual file or the screen you are working on. They are just virtual annotations. When you click on the draw icon, you can select between freehand, a line, a rectangle, a circle, an arrow, and a diamond. Also, you can decide how you want the forms to be depicted, as an outline, transparent, or as a solid. Click on the draw you want and start your drawing. Stamp are six predefined forms you can use just by clicking one of them. For example, you can use this arrow or a check mark. After that, position your mouse wherever you want to use the stamp and click it. Click on the format icon and you can style or format your annotations. For example, you can format its color, line width, and in the case of text, you can define if you want bold, italic, or to change the font size. During this process, you can also undo or redo an action by clicking on these two icons. An interesting way to draw attention to certain areas of your screen is by using the spotlight tool. And if you select the first option, the cursor becomes a red pointer to capture the attention of your audience. When you click on the arrow icon, wherever you click it becomes an arrow. Or if you click on the vanishing pen, you can draw freehand but it will be visible for only a few seconds. Click the mouse tool to stop the draw, text, stamp, and spotlight options. Now the cursor can be used to click on any different function you want. The select tool helps you select an annotation and move it to a different place or, if you want, hit delete on your keyboard and delete it. Finally, click on the clear tool and you can choose between Clear All Draws, Clear My Drawings, or Clear Viewers Drawings. What do you think of this feature? It will certainly be very useful in your next class or presentation. Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.